All right, one of my most anticipated games of 2023 is finally here. The hype is real. Let's go. And also, thank you to Warner Brothers Games for sponsoring this video. If you want to check this game out yourself, it's available on PlayStation 5, which is actually what I'm playing it on, Xbox Series S and X, and PC. I have a link at the very, very top of the description. Just click that. It should take you where you need to go. All right, so the ultimate question is, what is Hogwarts Legacy? It's an immersive open-world action role-playing game set in the 1800s, so that's before everything. You're going to be kind of going in the unwritten and embark on a dangerous journey to uncover the hidden truth of the 1800s wizarding world. And during that time, you'll be experiencing life as a student at the legendary Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It's also developed by Avalanche Software and published by Warner Brothers Games under the Portkey Games label. And the story is actually going to be an original story that puts players at the center of their own wizarding world, so you kind of create your own path to learn everything. So, all right, love you all, best audience ever. It'd be kind of cool to see this video do well. If we get, I'm gonna say right now, if we get like 50,000 likes in the first video, expect this series fast. Also, I have a PS5 and an Xbox Series S and X copy to give away. You had a chance when you like the video, leave a comment of when you found my YouTube channel. Been on YouTube for a very long time. <laughs> Almost 13 years. So, all right, love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. All right, we got a letter from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Let's see. We are pleased to inform you they've been accepted. Oh, we got accepted. Term begins on 1st of September. Sincerely, okay. Very nice. It's from the uh, presets. Man, the graphics look really good on performance mode on PS5. Not even on quality mode. That's what's crazy. It looks really smooth. Hey, yeah, the presets are so nice, I may just pick one. <laughs> I'm gonna go down to each one. I'm just curious, like... Let's check out... Oh, let's see all the options really quick. Let's just go through it. Looks pretty nice. Oh, you can change the hairstyle. Okay. What about complexion? Okay. Oh, what we got? The scars and markings. Uh, let's see. Eyebrows. Okay. Finalized character. Okay. I'm just going to pick a preset. I don't know which one. Or like create my daughter or something. Like an adult form of her, you know? Like just, or I guess a youth form. Let's see. So, the closest one I think is her. Because I'm like pasty white and my daughter's, she has like a tan going on. So, I feel like that's close. Uh... Look at all these different face shapes we got. No, let's see. Man, this is actually really close. Hold on, she needs to... Let's see. Does this change it? Which way is this going? Okay, it's darker. Hold on, let's see. There we go. Look at these glasses. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's definitely some Hogwarts-style glasses. Like a teacher, almost. Okay, uh, we got that. Hairstyles. Now, I like this hairstyle. It's also the same color she has, too, so... Alright, so that's in the top. So it's a second row middle. Remember that one. Ooh, that's close. Oh, that's a lot in the back. Never mind. That's a lot of hair. Man, the hairstyles look really cool in this game, too. Okay, I think I'm just going to go with this one. This, I don't know. We could also change the color, but I think this is probably fine. All right, what else we got? All right, complexion, freckles, and moles. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go back to where it was. Kind of right, right in there. Let's see. There we go. Wait. It's a little bit around the eye there. You know what? That's cool. Uh, scars and markings. She doesn't have any of those. So it's kind of weird. All right. Let's go none there. Eye color. There it is. Where's... That's... There we go. Eyebrow color. I'll keep all that the same. There we go. That's more like it. Eyebrows are fine. Let's go ahead and see. Finalize your character. Voice one, voice two. Let's see what we got. 
A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. All right, that's good. All right, select your difficulty. Normal. Name your character. Here we go. Uh, Clem. We have to have a last name. All right, what well, with the last name? It's not my last name, but I just, uh, that's what I named my daughter after. That was that character's last name. All right. Witch or wizard? Gotta go wizard. I feel like. Here we go. This game is about to be sick. I can already feel it. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me for the time to... Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. 
It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. All right, time to heal. Let's get it. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why? Man, the beginning of this game is top-notch. The direction of it, the graphics, how it begins is just really well done. Look at this area. Oh, look at that. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path. However faded it may be. All right, let's get it. All right, path Mind to Hogwarts. Step. Man, the Why graphics are so nice. Got the key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. <laughs> ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. Oh, we're going right there. Nice. But, sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? 
Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. All right, new spell unlocked, the basic cast. Ooh, that's nice. Excellent. All right, use your camera. So basically scanning with the right thumbstick. All right. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. You can just shoot everything. Man, that looks nice. Your one word's improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. It's very responsive, which I really like. It's a simple highlight. Ah, up there. I just love that it's like a simple highlight type thing, and then it just goes where you need to, you know? Like a little pot We're right close here. Now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself. Reparo. He just puts it all back together. I love it. I can't get over how good this game looks on PS5. Oh, it might be one of the best looking games I've seen so far. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Uh, I mean, like this statue right here, maybe? Well, maybe not out of place, but look at the wall right there. All right, the mini map shows your surroundings. In the middle, okay. Toggle between quests, got you. All right, explore the ruins. I'm gonna check this out. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Can we go? Hold on, let's see. Can't go over here. That's two things I've kind of noticed so far. All right. With that, and we got this. Can you go up here to the left? Oh, you can. Let's get this. Man, look at these water graphics too yeah the combat's super responsive and I kind of like how it's not jarring how it switches between stuff it's like it's very precise like right when you tap it it just starts shooting it's immediate that enchanted crystallized stone again but what could it be blocking what's this professor Fig? Oh, wow. Can you do anything there? No, I guess not. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Hmm. What in Merlin 
Godric's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. So now we're where we were just looking. It's like it was a mirror where we already were. Hello? A moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, we're <having> here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cart, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Man, this is so cool. How many vaults are there in Green Vaults? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to Vault Number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. That is a cool roller coaster. You want to take Holy. A, breath? a what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. That was such a cool, like, sequence, too, just getting here. Fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today.
Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, wow. All right, pressure wand, uh, left, okay. Okay, hold on. Steady your wand and guide it along the, okay. That is so cool. Hey, let's get it. Revelia. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. There it is. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Oh, here goes. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. So if I just tap this, does it do anything else? Okay. Only to reveal stuff. Man, the effects are really nice. The way the game begins is, I mean, it's like a movie almost. It's insane. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos, what happened? When I moved towards the glow, suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. All right, kind of at the halfway point, wanted to say thanks again, Warner Brothers Games, for sponsoring this video. It means a lot to me. Man, that is so cool. Very nice feature. All right, acquired one lighting charm. Here we go. All right, hold that and then tap. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. That ain't good. Look out! Let me use 
Man, the parrying is so sick. Ooh, look at that! Right on time! Combat is very nice. Stay close. I'm staying right next to you, buddy. What? Professor? Professor Fig? Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where Wait, what is this? To go? We got a chest right here. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Hope it's the right oh, way. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glamour Lumos. Hmm. Activate the statues. So it's like... Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Here we go again. Yeah, they're all pointing like this way. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Alright, so this one is looking kind of... Wait, hang on. Looks like it's identical, right? Let's see what this one does. I need to get them all to stand at once. Let's see if I if I do all three like this. There we go. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. There we go. Oh, watch out! Potato. Very nice. All right, hold it to stun. Okay. Well, counterattack too. So after you do like the little uh, counter, you then keep holding it. Very nice. Man, the combat is really clean. I like this a lot. Doesn't take much to get used to it either. Very simple. Uh oh, hold on. Let's like go this way, maybe. Hold on. We're sprinting. Oh, here we go. What is this? did you what is this place i don't know but 
I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a vault. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. That was a cool uh, way to get out of there. Here we are. Look at that. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. Man, I just can't get over how good this game looks. Alright, can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore, honestly. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... 
Hmm, what is it? I would say... Ambition. There we go. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. All right, sorting ceremony. Let's see. Choose a different house. Mm. I'm torn because chivalry. Man, I don't know. I'm actually really torn right now. Which house? I don't think I'm going to go with Ravenclaw. The bottom two, probably not. Let's see. Hufflepuff, let's see. Patience, loans, and hard work. I gotta, you know, I gotta admit, I do like this one. Man, I don't know. I'm, I'm so torn right now. I'm gonna go with this one. Here we go. Possess a Gryffindor. To forge your head alone when you must. Let's get it. Accept us. Better be Gryffindor. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Oh, looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I should say one thing real quick. The beginning of this game is so well done. One of the best prologues I think I've ever played. Wonder, can we use all of our stuff Rebellion. in here? Oh, we can. Let's get it, babe. Lumos. Imagine. Potato. You can even do the counter thing here. That's funny. All right, let's keep exploring. Find your common room. The game oh, and like all the voice coming. acting is really well done too. Slow coach! Slow coach! Wait, what? 
Let's go back down here. Hold on. And look at all the. Oh, we got a chest here. Level one lock. Uh oh. Not ready for that yet. It must be different starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. All right, introduce yourself. Okay. So I'm wondering. Oh, let's go over here. Nelly, please get down. Who does Nelly think she is anyway? Perhaps I should. All right, let's talk. See what we got. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protege? I'll just say I've studied with him. There we go. I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Say, so, yeah, I'm sure you'll get it. Perhaps you just need more practice. Your casting needs work. I'm not quite ready for that yet. I'll say this one. A little more practice ought to do it. I practiced all summer. I can cast spells more complicated than this one without speaking. What's so difficult about this one? I'm just going to keep at it. I wish you luck. Let's see. How hard is it to cast non-verbal spells? Is it really that difficult to cast non-verbally? Oh, yes. And if you don't get it just right, the results can be, shall we say, awkward. Once, I tried to cast Depulso non-verbally on a goblet in the Great Hall and ended up launching Professor Sharp's Yorkshire pudding into his face. He was not happy. <laughs> I'm going to just ask everything, since it's like the very beginning of the game. Do most students know how to cast non-verbally? Not at all. Hogwarts doesn't teach non-verbal casting until the sixth year. And even then, many struggle with it. I'm simply trying to get ahead of the game. Alright, I wish you luck. Here we go. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. Alright, it's first person. Not sure how we interact up there. I'm going to go to the other side first. Man, even the dialogue, the, everything about this game is just very well polished. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. That must be nice. Must be awkward. I'll say this one. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. I'm gonna ask both things. Here we go. Are you having butterbeer for breakfast? Hmm? Oh, no. I've been perfecting a recipe I came up with over the summer. I'm almost there. Based on some reactions, it may need a bit more work. Seems you enjoy brewing. Might I assume that you've a talent for potions of all sorts? Well, as I see it, there's little difference, fundamentally, between brewing a modification to butterbeer and a Wiganweld potion. Though, I'm not certain Professor Sharp would make the connection. He doesn't appreciate my, uh... Creativity as much as you might think. All right, nice meeting you. Here we go. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. All right, last but not least. I'm assuming we just... She gets bolder every year. We just take this. That's funny. If 
I get caught, I shan't defend you. girl thinks she can get away with anything. There we go. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I'm Nelly, by the way. Nelly Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Uh, it's nothing I couldn't handle. That seems a little cocky. Let's see. It was terrifying. I'll just say it's true. Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much-needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. Alright, we got three here. Let's see. My travels here. Let's see. What exactly are the rumors about my journey to Hogwarts? Uh, that you escaped a dragon attack? <laughs> Isn't that enough? Most of us arrive via train or boat. Not having just escaped the jaws of a dragon. Of course it's got people talking. Word travels fast at Hogwarts. Not afraid of heights, are you? Yeah, she was all over the, the fireplace top or whatever. I take it you're not afraid of heights? Mm, it's something I've always done since I was little. My mother once found me on the roof when I was five. Still has no idea how I got there. But with all the strange hallways and rooms in the castle and everything lurking in and outside the grounds, you don't need to scale a tower to see something incredible here. Ever encountered a dragon? Here we go. I'd imagine most students have never seen a dragon. Have you? Goodness, no. And I'd never heard of one attacking a carriage like that. Not enough meat in a carriage, I would think. All right, here we go. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. New Gryffindor. I guess she just goes back up Professor top. Weasley's All right, meet Professor. Man, the overall vibe of this game is so well done. And that's it for part one. Gotta say thank you all for supporting this. Any likes you drop on it, greatly appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. I just can't believe how well done this game is. And shout out to Warner Brothers Games also for sponsoring this video. It means a lot to me. And you know, check out this game yourself. I have a link at the very, very top of the description. Just click that. I love you all, and I'll talk to you very, very soon.